When was it that the trains began to lose their glamour? Well, I guess it was when the diesels came along. Of course, the diesels had to come, you know, they're cheaper to run. But somehow they didn't have that awesome fire-breathing presence that the old steam locomotives had. We changed, too, you know. After World War II, we entered the air age, and airplane pilots became our new heroes. And now, a whole network of interstates cuts across the land, and we have begun to forget about the train. All the coaches still run, but somehow, they're just not quite the same anymore. David Cathy of the Traveling Tramps here in uh, Benson, Arizona. We are at the Visitor Center. It's a wonderful little visitor center. We met both Bob and uh, Gabe. What we're going to do today, today is uh, do something a little bit different. Uh, Kathy, you're going to drive the train. Yes. You looking forward to that? Yes. You know, tell all the people you're going to be the engineer. <laughs> Choo Choo Kathy was an engineer. called Wayside Way, link right down below in the description, and, uh, and like you can check that out. But we were looking for something, so we stopped at the visitor center, we found a wonderful little visitor center here. You can see yes. some of the displays yes. they have yes. up in yes. here, uh, the old railroad displays, including the fan, and an old turnstile type of uh, uh, make, making it look like a little turnstile type yeah, of... Uh, it, 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 they have roundhouses, and that's called a turntable. Right, and right. It turns, and I can pull whichever train off we want to put on the track up above. Ah, okay. Uh, and then you can see the trains run around up, up on, on the ceiling here. They also have a lot of other information about anything you might need in the Cochise County area, the Benson, Arizona area. Uh, and we were talking about some of the other places too. Tons of tourist information. They've been extremely helpful. So if you ever, you know, come to this area, this part, which is Tombstone, is just right down the road. Benson is here. St. David in between us. We're about 29, 30 miles from Tucson, Arizona. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Tons of information on that whole surrounding area. You want to make this your first stop, so that uh, you know where where it is that you want to see, what you want to do and they've been extremely helpful. What we're gonna to do today today is uh, do something a little bit different. Uh, Kathy, you're gonna drive the train. Yes. You looking forward to that? Yes. You know, tell all the people you're gonna be the engineer. <laughs> Choo Choo Kathy was an engineer. Maybe can, can just fly. Yes. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step right over here and uh, go ahead and uh, you can take the engineer's chair. The engineer's seat. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're going to drive that train that's going around up here. Why don't you do this? Well, no, we're going to let you drive the train. <laughs> go ahead. Have a seat. It'll all be good. Now the first thing you got to do, they showed us all about this, is you got to blow the whistle two times. So you stick your hand up here and pull this. Pull it hard. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah. Yeah. 
That lets, <laughs> that's let, does everybody know you're coming? Warns all the kids off the I off the tracks. And then you gotta pull the start thing. Ready? Pull this real hard. <laughs> now look, there you there's your train going. Maybe we better blow the horn one more time. They whistle. Kathy, you got a certificate. This is for you. <laughs> yes, you're an official Benson train engineer now. Look at that. Very cool. We want to thank you all for watching. Uh, Love meeting both Bob and Gay. It was a pleasure uh, meeting you all. Yes. And we had a great time. A lot of information. Kathy got a train license. <laughs> we want to thank you all for watching. We love you all. Good one. Cool. Turn on the bells and whistles. <laughs> <laughs>